Hey guys, uh, today I'll show you how to connect a, a controller like this one, an S5 controller, and play a game. So right now, as you can see, uh, I'm using two controller and one PC. Okay. So this is a cheap one, an S5 game controller, and. This one is a Xbox controller from my Xbox One. So it be, it is connected to a computer and using a Bluetooth device, a very cheap one Bluetooth device. And I connect uh, two controller, okay? So this will be one, if you're using a game that is a player one or versus game like a Street Fighter or any Mortal Kombat, and you'll use an emulator so you can use a player one and a player two so this game is an Jinsen impact so I can use a controller like this so as you can see it is connected okay so watch the video and I'll teach you how to connect it in very easy way and without installing any software, okay? Okay, uh, what are the devices that we are needed for this setup? So we are using a, a CSR Bluetooth device. It's a USB type Bluetooth device connected to your computer or laptop. So it's a 2.0 USB type Bluetooth. CSR 4.0 so you can buy this or uh, on online so Amazon I think in Amazon there's a online shop for this and uh, gen game s5 controller that is very cheap so these are in here uh, this controller is very cheap I bought it for only eight dollars I think and this one is four dollars so maybe you can use if you don't you can use there's a usb for gen s5 but if you if you don't find any usb bluetooth devices for him for this controller you can use only a cheap one so this is a universal bluetooth device so you can connect anything device here like uh xbox controller like this one so anything that will be used in bluetooth even a bluetooth speaker or even a bluetooth keyboard or anything or mouse even you can transfer files here okay so right now we're using it for our, our controller so how to connect the s5 gen s5 controller and a very cheap USB Bluetooth device okay so first is connect your Bluetooth device to a USB port on your computer so here I'll be uh, connecting it plug it in a USB 2.0 so it will be connected at autom automatic in our system automatically without using any software uh, it will detect a Bluetooth here okay so connected Bluetooth this one okay so if you don't find the icon here below in your Bluetooth set uh, Bluetooth settings uh, you can search it in your search bar in your computer so here from here you can search Bluetooth bar the Bluetooth here okay Bluetooth settings so in a Windows 10 OS it will be look like this
Okay, from here, you can add a device. So, by adding a device, you can just nick the check here in the upper. Okay, so you will choose uh, Bluetooth, so it will search at automatically. And in your S5 controller, uh, you will click this device and uh, hold X and the gen game in the center hold so like this it will the gen game uh, in the center will light like this okay so by adding a device uh, you will click the Bluetooth So it will hide a name on a Bluetooth device in a search that it's a gen game, okay? And then in, uh, in the add a device, there's a gen game name, click it, and it will connect. Connecting. So done. So your control, controller, your gen game controller will be light like this one okay uh the gen game will hold light in our left so it means that it is connected okay so in your emulator uh like this one uh gnes emulator uh in your option in your input you can set your gamepad, uh, your settings, okay? There, as you can see, you can choose your gamepad, okay? So there, its name is Bluetooth Gamepad. And you can set up your joypad layout, okay? Your controller joypad, okay? So after that, after that, the as you, if you set your controller, you can play any game like this one, a Mario game in a computer using a very cheap very cheap controller and a USB Bluetooth device okay and in Xbox if you had a controller on Xbox as you can see uh, we will close this one uh, you'll on your Xbox controller and there's a uh, button button right here you can click your button for two seconds i think or three seconds then it will the light in, in the center will look like this a fast blink light so it's a bluetooth searching for a bluetooth so the same as an s5 uh you will just add a bluetooth device okay So there, as you can see, there's an Xbox wireless controller there. So you'll just click the Xbox wireless, wireless controller. So your Xbox will be connected. And the light of your Xbox in the center will, will be steady, like this one, okay? So like this, as you can see, uh, we'll try to open a game that support a controller. 
like a Jensen Impact game. So this game is had a support on your a controller, uh, an Xbox controller or PlayStation controller. So right now we are logging in in the game. Okay. So how to support uh how to make the a game like this, a Jensen Impact, that's uh, that will support a controller. So how it is done? So first is you'll go to the settings. So here at the settings, you can see the controller type. Okay, this one, controller, in the controls, you can see that there's a name controller, as you can see it, uh, there's a keyboard or a controller. So you, if you are using a controller like this one, uh, you'll choose uh, the controller. And if you're using a keyboard, so you'll choose the keyboard, okay? So I'll press back. So as you can see, we're playing the Jensen Impact in a controller mode. And a joystick. A joypod. So what's the benefit of using a controller? So using a controller is a wireless so you can go to your chair and relax even without uh, you can go uh, distance to your computer and play the game even in a long distance okay so using a very cheap Bluetooth device you can connect your controller and play any devices so here uh i'm using an s5 and xbox without uh disconnecting the other one so it's connected and this one is connected so either i can choose any controller but if you're using a two player controller uh two player games like a player one and player two a versus so you can connect it uh, the procedure will be the same, okay? So you'll be using only uh, one Bluetooth device, uh, like the one that I've shown you. So it's a very cheap one. So you can connect any devices. So right now I have only two controller, as for now, and I can do play player one and player two. Like, as you can see, I can control the Jensen Impact in my NS5 and I can control it in my Xbox without disconnecting the other one okay so it's a great benefit for using a cheap Bluetooth device without using any expensive uh, gadgets so just buy a Xbox any wireless controller or uh, any cheap device s5 okay uh thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and if you have any comments or suggestions uh you can put comment and ask me and how uh what are the things that be done okay so thank you and please like and subscribe the bitcoins and Check the notifications so that you'll be notified for another video like this. 
for the coming vlogs. Okay, thank you.